The KC Cup, the qualifier event for the Duel Links World Championship. Each duelist, should they choose to participate, will have to climb through 20 ranks to reach duel level max in the first stage of this event if they want a shot at a World Championship invite. These events are held over a much shorter time frame than the monthly rank season, incentivizing players to choose a deck that generates wins or losses in as little time as possible while maintaining at least a 51% win rate to make it to the maximum level. My name is Skep, and during the KC Cup, I try to climb to dual level max with a single deck. Sometimes the deck will be rogue, and sometimes the deck will be anime, but all the time I hope the deck will be interesting. In this episode, I decided to take my favorite deck in Duel Links out for another spin, after some incidental support it got in the most recent structure deck. Metal Foes are, for my money, the coolest pendulum deck in Duel Links, and quite possibly all of Yu-Gi-Oh! This pendulum-based fusion strategy recently received both the third copy of Summoner's Art as a level 40 Desod Bakura reward, and a new normal monster support card in Piercing the Darkness, a card that both acts as draw power for a deck needing to see a critical mass of its pendulum monsters to perform its combos, as well as a tool to beat over monsters that are protected from targeting effects like Yazi, Saber Dancer, and Borlode Dragon. Despite the possibility for highly explosive plays going second, and consistent access to two forms of interaction going first, can a deck so packed to the gills with playable engine pieces even at 30 cards it can't fit any copies of MST or IDP, while also not having a skill so busted it wins on its own, hope to compete in the current Duel Links metagame? Or, to put it another way, can a VTuber win with Metal Foes? You'll just have to watch till the end of the video to find out. All right, so here we are with the deck that I will be tentatively attempting to climb the KC Cup with. You see we have a $6 DM ladder climb donation goal because I might want to play three copies of Piercing the Darkness depending on how important it turns out to be. But that is the conceit of uh, this deck and why I'm playing Metal Foes again because Piercing the Darkness gives the deck something to do, uh, because the deck was sorely lacking it out to Borlode Dragon. Piercing the Darkness helps it out. Uh, Dark Requiem Exceeds Dragon as well. So it is a very powerful card, and potentially a card you might want to be playing at three. Of course, I do not have three, but... Oops, uh, maybe over the course of these uh, streams, because I don't expect to uh, get to dual level max in one stream. Oh, maybe over the course of these streams, we'll be able to get a third copy of Piercing the Darkness. Um, but we are playing Pendulum Change Basic because you need your three spell and trap zones if you're going to be playing Piercing the Darkness. It just does not work with uh, Light Barrier. We've also added some Clee Forts here. I'm not super torn on them. In theory, they're really good for card advantage. Uh, you can uh, activate Scout, pay eight, feel great, add Monolith to your hand, activate Pinch change basic put the monolith back to grab a metal foes because the only uh normal monsters you will have in your deck at that point will be your metal foes you only need to play one because uh, summoner's art searches it and for that reason you might also want to play three copies of summoner's art the deck is sort of getting tight as it is you would have to if you wanted to play three summoner's art you'd have to cut the um the painful decision and i don't believe that's a smart choice because if you cut painful decision you're only playing six one scales in a 30 card deck and i really do not like the odds on that i just don't think it's mathematically correct uh but we will see um this is what the deck looks like let's go over the card by card newly freed from the limit list we've got luster pendulum the draco slayer meaning it no longer conflicts with our full metal foes fusion uh we're not playing the ignister prominence because it probably will never come up the most important thing is to pop a metal foes scale like bismagir to trigger its effect or to get one into your uh Extra deck to pin summon it out later, as well as being another face-up card that you can pop. In a pinch, you can pendulum summon it and attack with it. Unfortunately, the only link monster we're playing is Doolittle Chimera, so maybe if this uh, becomes a problem, we'll find space for another generic link so we can use pendulum as uh, link material. Two copies of Rescue Hamster. I really like two and 30, and I really like playing two because I wasted a fucking dream ticket on this card, so I'll feel like an asshole if I only have to play one, uh, which is another reason why I don't want to play multiple summoner's arts uh because i'm running out of I, this is probably the most cuttable card and i'm not happy about that three rescue rabbit the normal summon of the deck uh sort of conflicts with uh piercing the darkness in so far as uh you really want to be having the highest chance to draw rescue rabbit as possible and so to do that you would just you know cut all these cards and play as few cards as possible to maximize your chance of opening rescue rabbit this is like the minimum card this is what i'd be playing if i was playing um 
light barrier. I don't think there's any reason to play anything other than this. But because we want to try out the new cards, we are unfortunately much uh, less likely uh, to see Rabbit. It does, however, combo with Piercing the Darkness in that if you activate Piercing the Darkness, activate Rescue Rabbit to summon two Metal Foes, you will draw a card off of that interaction, which is very powerful. Of course, we got our Metal Foes ratios, as you all know, three Bismagear, uh, three Gold Driver, three Steelin, and three Volflame. If I was going to cut any of them, I would probably cut Volflame to two since it's the least important uh, of them because you and uh, you also have so many extra copies of it. And because since we're playing Scout, playing uh, two Volflame isn't that bad with three Sart because you still have three targets for uh, Sart. So I would consider playing two copies of Volflame in order to. Uh, uh, save space so I can keep playing the painful decision. If I was playing uh, three summoners art, three painful decision, this is probably what the deck would look like, which is good news for anyone who doesn't have multiple rescue hamster. Our last monsters are Cliffort Scout and Cliffort Monolith. This was actually a TCG combination that is still played in Metal Foes because in TCG you can uh, scale Cliffort Scout, search Monolith, activate a Metal Foes to pop Scout, and then Pendulum Summon Scout and Monolith, overlay for Cyber Dragon Nova and then put Cyber Dragon Infinity on top of that. Naturally, we do not have that interaction in Duel Links and Cyber Dragon Nova on its own is not worth playing, I don't think. So this is only worth it as a card advantage engine off of Pendulum Change Basic. As I explained, you'll activate Scout, search Monolith, activate Pendulum Change Basic, put Scout back and grab a Metal Foes. It's also nice because uh, Monolith is a fusion material both for Mithrilium and for Alkahest and uh, it's a 2400 beater which ties your Vol flame so you still have extra copies of 2400 beaters if you indeed cut uh, your copies of Vol flame for any particular reason those are all the monsters i think with the exception of the second rescue hamster every one of these is more or less mandatory uh, you could also cut the Vol flame as well i suppose our two metal foes targets we've got full metal foes fusion still at one for some reason i don't really think this deck would be too overpowered if you had if you played super polymerization it would be very funny though since we now have a draw engine to us uh, uh, hopefully dig for it uh, sort of play uh, one Metal Foes Fusion uh, might up this to two. I'm not happy about it, but uh, Infernoid is super popular, and Infernoids eat this deck alive if they banish your one uh, Metal Foes Fusion, so it might be worth it to play two. Uh, our two Piercing the Darkness, this is your out for basically anything because it gives an honest effect to all your fusion. Exceeds monsters that have a normal monster as material, as well as I believe your normal monster itself. Only level five or higher normal monster. So it only really works with the Cleeforts and Volflame, which is very funny. And then the last cards on our list are the consistency pieces, our extra copies of Scout and Volflame Sart, and our extra copies of our One Scales and Steelin. A painful decision. Onto the extra deck, we're playing a 2 2 2 split of Mithrilium, Alk, and Vol and Orichalc, rather. Uh, one copy of Malevolent Sin, the most cuttable card in the deck now that Photon Lord isn't around, and Doolittle Chimera for uh, OTK scenarios. That is the deck. I'm tentatively hopeful, but I am very worried in a format like this. Uh, where Resonators are now setting a Dark Hole directly from the deck that they can activate on your turn uh, about a deck that's not able to play MST. I think if this deck is not able to take it to dual level max, it will be solely off the back of losing to back row set off the effect of busted skills or hard-drawn pieces of the Trinity that we are unable to play through. I believe firmly that this deck has the ability to play through any Monster Reliance strategy, but of course, as we all know, the best cards in the game are the cards that do not belong into your archetype, but rather the cards that you have to hard draw that win the game on their own. Uh, let's take this uh, deck to the KC Cup and see how it does. Ugh, wait, no. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting. Mithrilium solos this deck. Ooh! Now this is fucking sick, bro. I love, I love, uh, Zone's dub voice. Zone looks so fucking funny. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. You know as I do, that this Grand Slam which from Denny's is bussin' baby pass! Let's go! That's so fucking funny! Ha 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 ha! 
Fuck, I don't think I could do it. Wait, no, this is crazy. This is actually fucking crazy. So we fucking... Clifford Scout. Or Skepti Bully. I got rid of it for IAR. Ooh, shit! That's really fucking good. God damn. Do you think I can kill him this turn? The answer? Probably. Bruh. And then we're going to pop the Draco Slayer. Two set Metal Foes Fusion. Oh my fucking god, bro! Bro, I fucking forgot. I forgot. Oh my god, this is disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. And we just get to add our fucking gold drivers back! Sure. Alright, let's draw a card here. Another monster we can normal summon. Do not mind if I do. And we're going to shuffle this card back. We still have it normal summoned, by the way. Lamau! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Okay. I should have popped the uh, Draco Slayer, but I I'm, I should have popped actually the Monolith, Normal Summoned Rabbit, and then done some funny shit, but we'll see. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny, Time Lord Burn, huh? Give me that. Give me this. Lamau. Uh, give me this card. Sorry for not talking, I'm just like having to figure this shit out. Alright, so we're just gonna try to go to battle here. That's so funny. We'll just activate another one. Okay. Alright, I was I didn't want to disrespect my opponent. I just did not want to lose to Kite Roid. Skip extending moment. I don't wanna you, you have to play around Kite Roid. It's stupid, but like Kite Roid can win you the game. I have to make sure I have enough damage to kill him. And if I'm gonna do Rescue Rabbit, I'm not just gonna leave the two monsters I summon on the field. That wasn't even, like, BM. That was just, like, playing around. This That's the reason Kite Roy needs to be taken out of the fucking game. Because it makes your opponent pissed off when you uh, when you extend for an extra five minutes because you want to play around it. 
30 cards, huh? Man, remember when I was saying you want a high chance to draw Rescue Rabbit? Fuck, man, what was I talking about? That's a horrible draw. We got two. And we're going to activate. We'll do double Alcahast. Fuck it. You know? No. If they're playing 30 cards, I'm going to imagine they're on some sort of bullshit. So we'll, we'll do we'll do this. Let's get you. Set you. Gonna activate to search. Oh, uh, I should not have done that. I, d I forgot that I summoned this off of Steve. Uh, can you point and laugh at me in the comments? This is so fucking funny. Oh my god. Huh. Alright, we win the game. That's pretty good. That's very funny. Sure. <laughs> it's this fucking guy again. This hand is unfucking playable. So now I just get to draw a card. So maybe they unbricked my hand. That's very funny. This is not once per turn. Why would you reveal Michion? Did they reveal Michion? Yeah, why would you reveal Matayon? You just gave me mo a bunch of extra information. That's a pretty good draw. Bro, 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 bro! Okay, we are going to make this card using you, you, coming out you. That's really funny. Okay. Get Camion out of here. You know what? I think if everyone is going to be playing Time Lords, I can't... I'm not going to say anything, but I think this deck is a 100% win rate versus Time Lords. Do you think I'm going to lose my win streak to a burn deck? 
I do. Six cards in the extra deck. You never know. Ha <laughs> It's Noids. We lose. Fuck. Oh, it's not. Yeah. That's a horrid draw. Wait, that's actually fucking awful! Ah! <laughs> Lamau, oops, all eights. God fucking damn it, dude. Oh my god, that's so funny. All right, we'll see here. It's worse. It's constant healing. People still play this shit. I love a rummage. I mean, this. I mean, this deck is built like shit because you don't play. Okay. That's so funny. Now that's a pretty good draw. Okay. Ah, uh, we're going to destroy you. We're going to shuffle back you and you. Yep. Okay. Ah, what a shame. I mean, I don't, I think I played that super wrong. I think there was definitely a way I could have done that better. But, uh, yeah. I got my first uh, King of Games on stream with a Romage. Deck is sick. When you, like, don't play it as a stall deck. So far, so good, at least. Oh, shit. Now, this is a pretty fucking good... Pretty fucking good. 
Um, let's try and figure out what we got here. That's really good. There has to be a way I could have done this better. There has to be a way I could have done this better. No, yeah, there definitely was. I fucked up. Alright, so the last thing we want to do is draw full fusion, so hopefully we get a normal monster. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, there are tons of things we could have done differently, but we didn't. Oh well. Right, we got Alk into Alk. Alright, is it against Mech Knights? Will Alk... Oh shit, it's actually fucking Ancient Gears. That's fucking hilarious. That's a pretty good draw. Wow, that's funny. Right now, it'll be so funny. We have, I think, didn't we get a new good, uh, didn't we get a good rank nine from the fucking giant hand pack or something? Mirror Force. They always fucking play it. This is, I don't want Mirror Force in this game. Like, Mirror Force is whatever, because you can play around it in, in real Yu-Gi-Oh. But, like, in 20 cards, you're way more likely to draw it. And, like, I don't know, I just, it's just not fucking cool. It's not, it's not fun to play with or against. <laughs> It's just get it the fuck out of the game. <laughs> no one no one looks at Mirror Force and, and is like, thank fucking god they put Mirror Force in the game. The problem with this deck versus Goki's is Goki's batches went a lot faster and required less brain power. Hmm. <laughs> no, don't make me go second against Dark Magician! <laughs> If you want to see me play Dark Magician, throw six dollars towards the the link in the description where it says support me. I think that should be my my Streamlabs link. This hand, ooh, this wait, we've got two. We got a fucking two two pair. God damn. Please scoop, Yugi. Please fucking scoop. As far as you know, I definitely have a monster with 1,400 or more attack points in my hand. I definitely don't have- No! He didn't scoop! Woo! 
<laughs> ah, let's go. It's so funny. <laughs> I hate seeing win streak next to my name. It gives me some, so god damn it. Now there has to be a way I do this. <laughs> Another Yami Yugi. Let's go Yugi. Let's go Yugi. Let's go Yugi. Let's go Yugi. Let's ban this dude. All right, I can ban you no problem. Um, we're going to send our eight scale to the graveyard. Nice! All right, so we have nothing but gas here. Did we normal summon yet? <laughs> uh, shit, man, that's fucking hilarious. All right, well, that doesn't do anything for us right now. But that is pretty fucking funny. Hey, Spartan. Welcome to the stream. You should be proud. that You're a higher rank than I am, Spartan. Whoa, remind me after this duel to show you my Dragon Maid deck if you want, because I know you're playing it. All right, well, sometimes you're just happy to make... That is funny. Yep, now they don't get to do it. And their turn ends. That's so funny. That's such a fucking good draw. That's so funny. Uh, so then we normal summon Rescue Rabbit! They can't even be mad, right? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna try to get 15. It was shit like that that just got me to stop playing. Like, I'll take getting sacked into Book of Moon and Compulse over fucking that any day. Show penis! Streamer, show penis! <laughs> Surprised that deck is still around. Fusion some one melodious fusion monster from your extra deck. Pass, 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 Okay. 
Then we're going to do this and the one in hand. Bam, bam. Yep. Business is bussin'. Actually a mirror match. Oh shit. Muskets. That's very funny. God, there has to be a way I win this. That's pretty good. This would have been a time in which I would have liked to have had the uh, other card here. The uh, Ignister Prominence. Lamau! God damn it! That's totally fine. Oh my god. Okay, we're still fine. Please don't tell me I'm misreading something here. Okay. Sorry, I was getting quiet there. What's that thick monster on the field? Uh, Trimid Sphinx. Pendulum Shuffle. All right, we're in dual level 15. All right, that's a perfect place to stop for today. All righty, so we're at day two of the KC Cup climb, dual level 15, not quite in the serious uh, mode yet. Uh, we're not going to make any changes because we've been having a pretty great uh, climb so far, haven't run into Noids, which is the only thing I'm thinking is going to make me change this deck up, which is just to add another Metal Foes Fusion, and I don't think two Metal Foes Fusion is optimal anymore, but uh, I do think that I really do not want to have my uh, f Fusion spell banished, <laughs> so uh, we'll see about that. Uh, same as before, we've got the one Luster Pendulum, never needed to really make the Synchro, but the uh, pop effect has been very nice 
Two hamster, three rabbit, three bismu, three gold driver, one scout, one monolith, three steelin, three volflame, three silvered, and those are the monsters, stroke pendulum monsters, and then of course we have our metal foes, bricks, full fusion and fusion, uh, our search spells, summoner's art, and painful decision searching uh scout has been super nice in this deck because even if you summoners art for scout you can use scout search monolith and then use your skill to shuffle back scout to grab a metal foes in which case summoners art basically grabbed you a metal foes anyway very uh good card in this deck one painful decision it's worse because it's a uh it's a hard ones per turn but it also is the only way we're searching our low scales so i do think you should probably be playing it and two, Piercing the Darkness. I was just talking earlier about how I can st I'm can. starting to see why you'd want to play three in this deck. I don't know if it's mandatory, but uh, you probably want to open the card that draws you more cards. Uh, you don't want to open multiples of it, but you can, of course, pop them to set your Metal Those Spell Traps. So it's not that bad of a brick to open multiples. Um, That is the main deck. The extra deck, same as before. One Doolittle. I think we made this once. One Spider. I think we made this once. Uh, two Alkahest. We've actually made Alkahest into Alkahest a few times now, so I'm glad we're playing two. Two Orichalc. I just like having the second one for, uh, the ease of accessing our double pierce OTKs. And two Mithrilium, because if you play less than two Mithrilium, you're throwing. Uh, this is, uh, the Metal Foes deck. Our skill is, of course, Pin Change Basic. Let's hop back onto the, uh, Casey Cup ladder. First duel of the stream. Let's fucking lose, baby. I honestly do want to lose because I'm getting fucking stressed out about the win streak coming up next to my name. We're going to activate. And then we're going to search Silvered. And we are going to Pendulum Scale. Silvered. Oh, wait, shit. We can just Pendulum Summon them both. That's probably the correct play here. Okay, we're getting silvered. And now we can destroy Luster Pendulum to set Metal Foes Fusion. We can activate the effect. So I'm going to choose to believe that we're playing against Dark Magician. Alright, give me what I want. That is unfortunately not good enough just yet. Alright, and then we're going to end our turn. God. I should have just made double uh, Ori Calc. I should have just made Alkahest rather, then I could have just let this die. This is why I, I never actually like making Mithrilium as much as I think it's it's a really good card. I've just minused myself to hell. My there's no way my opponent loses from here. There's literally nothing I can do. There's no way I'm about to lose to Teller Knights. If I just made fucking Alkahest, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, alright. The smart play, genuinely, is to fucking go to battle phase. No way you're playing Chalice in this deck. Ugh. Damn, they really opened everything. There's nothing I can do now. They win the game. I have to open exactly Rescue Rabbit and that doesn't fucking do it. Yeah, I should have made two Alkahests. Oh, you got a set card, too. Wow, interesting, interesting, interesting. There's nothing that, that does it. 
That's a, like literally the best it could have been, but it doesn't do. Wait, yes, it does. By the way, I should have pendulum summoned. I've misplayed again. That was a huge fucking throw on my part. I had pendulum scales to make everything I needed to do. I'm so mad at myself. <sighs> I played this hand so badly. Okay, we got it. Now they don't get the draw as well. to a yellow button player for them to play. Time, by the way, I wasn't going to lose to that. Oh. God, I was... I spent so long thinking what their trap would have been. I keep forgetting I play this fucking deck. I knew it was going to be... Um, I knew it was going to be Fiendish. This is like one of the few decks that actually plays Fiendish. Oh, God fucking damn it. Uh, sure, I'll Pot of Greed. Oh my God, fucking... <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Shit! Do you think I live past a turn? Do you think I live for a turn? Because here's the thing. I can rescue Rabbit to draw another card. Is that a good idea? N objectively not. Is that a good idea? I'll c take the normals and FTK. Alright, I'm going to believe you. What did KC Cup with? Metal Foes. How are we doing? We're doing good so far. All right, I need you to tell me right now, Swamp. Is stealing their normal actually an FTK? Do not tell... Wait, wait, yeah, it is, right? Because they can't special summon another Phantom Knight? Oh, well, now they can. Tell me right now, Swamp. Do, is it? Do I take it? Yeah, they need another one. Sure. They, surely they need another one. Okay. Yep. 
I didn't think you were right. Swab, I'll never doubt you again. That's a lie. I have trust issues. I will doubt you again. Wow. I, holy shit. Best deck, huh? Best deck, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Metal Foes is the best deck. Goddamn. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> the only, the genuine only deck I'm worried about is Resonators. I think this deck eats shit to fucking Red Rain. Because you can't play MST. And even if you could play MST, you're never going to fucking draw it. Forever doubt swap. I pick idea. I do want to learn Foes. Well, I've got great news. I've got like three hours of Metal Foes content on my YouTube channel. I'm even thinking about getting a piece of art of Skep in the Metal Foes Fusion thing. Doing the Metal Foes Fusion pose. Speaking of Skep art, should I post it? Sure. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mean for my character to have titties, but... This uh, person who I commissioned, who I'm a huge fan of, they drew a lot of fucking hentai that I liked when I was growing up. Uh, they really formed a lot of the weird fetishes I have. Um, I commissioned them. And here they are. Here is... God, that's fucking huge. Yeah, there it is. Also, you can see the bat and the fucking pumpkin because I, I couldn't change my fucking name on Twitter or on Skeb when I commissioned them. <clears throat> so instead of having the snake and the uh, leaf, it's uh, it's the fucking thing from my Halloween one because I commissioned them. Well, I commissioned them in February, but for some reason, Skeb was like, you you still have the... What's his face? Yeah, there you go. Where are my little boots? Look how fucking sick I look. God damn. Look at it. Bro. Bro, that's so fucking good. If a different, it's a different story. If PK goes first, yeah, obviously, but that's Duel Links, isn't it? Oh, I'm a huge fan of this artist. I can't tell you who it is because there might be babies watching, and this person does post porn. Actually, it just says right there, Ikado Maru. Oops. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I'm very happy. Magician's magic. Yep. You fucking fool. Is this better than Magical Circle? Oh my god. Alkahest cannot suck up Dark Magic, ma Dark Magician. Huh. Oh! Oh, you get to open everything! I see, I see, I see. Mmm, so... Well, I'm not dead, but what the fuck... What the fuck does anything do here? God, that's so fucking frustrating. Rescue rabbit. Well, at least we can take solace in knowing we didn't lose to a deck, and we didn't lose to a player. We lost to the yellow button, as God intended. Alright, you got it. Just for the skill. Oh, yeah, 100%. But I, I, I mean, the, the conceit of the- Oh! Quick Synchron. It's not Quick Draw, it's Quick Synchron. Ooh, that's really good.
Oh my god. I really wish I could check their deck. I want to know if I was correct in playing around Tretch. Because the reason I did all that before I Pendulum Summoned is because I didn't want to Pendulum Summon another guy and lose my Alk plus my Pendulum Summon. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, Noids. Shit! Now this is actually a fucking god tier hand, but I don't think I can do it. I mean, is it a god tier hand? Not really. Oh, thank God! Oh, thank fucking God! Oh! Oh! Oh, I was so fucking scared. No extra deck! Woo! I did not want to see two of them. For the double trap hole of spikes. I'm just going to lose to the trap hole of spikes. It's going to happen. Ah, fuck. I'm going to draw a rabbit. <laughs> Ori Calc over Tiger. Oh shit, you're right, it isn't. Fuck! That's so funny! So fucking funny. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Did I use my skill yet? I did. Oh shit, that didn't do anything. God damn it. That was a huge fucking fumble. There we go, thank fucking god. Lamau. Okay, thankfully it's still lethal. That's so funny. That's so funny. Wow, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> I should have just fucking played around their fucking back row. I genuinely was not thinking of a power of this wall of disruption. That's so funny. No! Leave me the fuck alone! I don't want to play yellow button turbo! Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Called by is still used. Yeah, it's also a dollar. There's no way. Oh, that's a good drop. 
Yeah, this deck, I don't think you're supposed to be playing White Prince. Okay. God damn. Oh, cool deck, dude. Uh, this is why I fucking hate... Like, literally the best cards in the game are fucking the Limit 3 backer, obviously, but then these stall cards that do nothing. Remember when Destiny Draw was just the best card in every deck? That's funny. That's very funny. Whee! Oh, cool deck, dude. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I fucking... This shit is so lame. This is why... This is the actual reason why Destiny Draw should be taken out of the game. So people stop playing these bullshit stall cards. Ah, uh, Sarah! <laughs> fucking scoop, Sarah! Scoop, bitch! Ah! <laughs> uh, am I playing Rescue Turbo or am I playing Metal Foes? There's not a single thing that Sarah plays that I want to be dueling against right now. I don't want to play against Starry Knights, and I don't want to fucking play against BA. This is Starry Knights. The second they set a card, they're like, yeah, yep, this is Starry Knights. Oh, yeah. I spoke too fucking soon. Okay. Hmm. If you got a sub, let's throw some of those skepti confused in the chat while I fucking think about how to do this. Uh, and then so we gotta do Steelin, Steelin, Pop, Vol, Flame. No, yes. Those back row is Zoma. I am not worried. We're gonna make Ori Calc pop a card when we fuse it away again, and we're gonna bounce the other one. I think we just pop Ori Calc, right? We pop Ori Calc, fuse, and then Pendulum Summon. I think that's probably the play here. I could be wrong, though. I just really want to be safe. What did you just say, Swamp? God damn! That shit's hilarious! It's okay, they're, st they're doing fine, they're burning me! They're burning me to death! Is bullying a free-to-play deck? Uh, no, I'm not! I'm treating them with respect. Because I respect my opponents. It's okay, they have double kite roid. I was so fucking scared, dude! I was so fucking scared, man! I was so fucking scared of fucking Starry Night or fucking, um, Burning Abyss. Damn. This hand actually fucking turbo loses to, um, Firewall Pass, though. Oh, thank god, it's fake. Oh, 
Oh, they have everything. I guess that's just... I mean, well, this is definitely Firewall Pass, so... Well, they're gonna search Crosswipe here. Fuck. Yeah, no, I lose to Crosswipe. Three... Yeah, only one possible back row. <laughs> Ugh. Huh. Oh, right, yeah, Firewall Pass. God, this deck is so fucking lame. It's not even, like... Legit, just fire fucking wall pass. Is that two set cards? Oh my god! Fascinating. Real fucking interesting. Ah. Not even waiting to chain it. Yep. This is like the godliest open they could have had, too. I guess I can't really complain. What is that last fucking card? Your code target also to gas pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh. Huh. So this is, I think, day three of the KC Cup climb, the third stream. Uh, I'm not going to even go over the list anymore because it's exactly the same. I haven't wanted to change anything yet. Uh, we'll see if we've run into a lot of Infernoids. We'll try to find space for the second Foes Fusion. Let's hop into the KC Cup and uh, see if we can get dual level max today. Oh my god. Surely they're not playing Book of Moon. Alright. So we've got double... We've got double Alk here. There's no way. There's no way! Best deck in the format, ladies and gentlemen! What the fuck is this?! Wow, that's really fucking good, actually. You want to see something really fucking funny? We've somehow fat fingered our way into a fucking uh, combo here. I hate this. I think if I go second, I can't lose to DM, but I can't go first. Oh, right, yeah. If I can make Mithrilium, I'm fine. Come on! That's so bad! That's the worst draw in the fucking deck! 
Oh, whoa, dude, you get to add it from your deck. Whoa, so skilled. I can't beat, I can't beat this card. I cannot beat it. Unless I, yeah, no, nothing does it anymore. God, I'm losing to a crackhead playing Eye of fucking Tamias. You're not playing a card game. You're just like, you're just playing click the yellow fucking button. Well, the only deck we've lost to has been Dark Magician. Actually, that's a lie. We've never lost to a deck. We've lost to the yellow button. The only yellow button we've lost to is Magician's Magic. On our rank up game twice, I think. I fucking despise Duel Links right now. Like, holy fuck, man. It feels like everything you're playing against is just carried by the skill. And I'm not happy about that because I like card games. Believe it or not, the thing I like about Yu-Gi-Oh! is playing card games. Yes, if you chain something to it, no, wait, never mind, that's a lie. Because it'll be summoned at uh, Chain Link 1. It, you, they'd have to chain their effect to your card. So, like, they, they'd have to Shooting Riser in response to you. No, is it Chain Link 2? Then yes, they were mistiming. Did they open? Melody of Oh yeah. Neat. God, please tell me that the, la the DM match is like fine and I can still rank up after that. God, I, I hate fucking Dark Magician. It's so fucking lame! It does nothing on your opponent's turn, it just tries not to fucking die! I whiffed a draw phase, that's why I lost! Literally no fucking skill! I don't know, maybe I could have actually played that better. I think the actual truth is I, I should have made, um... Ori Calc going first. That was a huge misplay on my part. I should have made Ori Calc pop the Dark Magician, and then we would have been better. Wait, did they fucking magicians? Ah! Stop making me go first against these fucking psychos! That's pretty fucking funny. All right, so we're gonna lose Metal Flow's fusion, but on the bright side, we can pop their DM or force out the fusion. Either of which is fine. Snooze! Stop making me play against DM. This deck fucking sucks, man. Wait a fucking second. So this is not how I wanted this to go. So that was a huge fail. If they have a Print Disillusion Edition, they win the game. Whoa, you're telling me they opened the Trinity instead? Whoa, they opened three set back row! God, your fucking deck sucks, Yugi. That's a really good draw. I'm losing it, man. Oh, I'm fucking losing it. They play Eye of Tamias to be able to summon it easy. Yeah, I mean, th the problem is Eye of Tamias fucking sucks. Whoa! 
That's funny. That's funny as hell. I don't even feel fucking good, dude. Holy shit. Fuck off with the DM shit, man! Stop making me go first! This is why I honestly wish I just made Mithrilium sometimes going first. Watch them dark hole me. That might as well be Dark Hole. That's funny as hell. You fool! Okay, this is as about as good as we can fucking expect it to be. That is another horrid draw. That's such a fucking good draw! And now, wow! Wow! Woo! What a fucking cool deck, baby! Warning point wins you the fucking game because your deck is shit! Oh my god, so you don't even need to discard a card. Holy fucking shit. I fucking hate this deck, dude. This deck is so fucking lame. God fucking damn, man. What a fucking god draw. The literal best draw in his deck. Fuck you, man. Shit. I understand why people, like, don't look at their own misplays very much. Because it's like, you look at that fucking game, and you're like, there's n nothing. I mean, if I, if I left Mithrilium up, they banished it anyway. Like, nothing happened that I could have changed. No none of my own impact on that game mattered. And that's the problem with this format, is very little of- Unless you're playing a skill deck- oh, Very interesting, our opponent's on a skill turbo too. Um, very little of your own gameplay fucking matters. Because your opponent will click the yellow button. Yeah, like this. My opponent fucking... Uh, is this... How many times is this? This is a good hand, though. Is literally denying... Do you, well, it's probably because it's not good in tournaments. Because the deck... The deck sucks. Like, it's bad. It can't do anything good. No way! Did they hard draw Super Poly? If they have Super Poly, I lose the game. I can't believe I didn't think of that. I cannot believe I didn't fucking think of that. Ouch. No! 
Nice! Way to draw the one of! Way to go! Watch him have fucking Neo's fusion in hand, too. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because he gets to do that. Yeah, I lose. I fucking lose. That's lethal. God fucking damn it. Alright, so that's how I have to do it. I need to let them super poly me so I can pop them with Ori Calc. Not gonna lie, I get it. I mean, they drew the one of. There's nothing about, like, yeah, I misplayed, but I'm played around. Like, that play is correct. I don't want them to be able to fucking. Me if they don't hard open me fucking super poly. By the way, they're playing over 20 cards, I think. If they activate fusion again, I'm gonna fucking report them. Just go to battle phase, you. Thank you. Set a card and go to fucking bat. And they get to set three cards, too. Like, holy shit, dude. None of- The only thing that makes decks like this good is that they have a card that lets them draw into Book of Moon and, uh, Ice Dragon's Prison. Like, no deck in Duel Links, with the exception of Metal Phones, is good on its fucking own. And Noids, I guess. But, like, this whole fucking thing here... Like, if I- if they didn't draw the Super Poly, my play was correct. Because their skill lets them add Super Poly to hand, you obviously want to remove the monster from their field. They opened the one of. I can't play around shit like that. That was the correct fucking play! Alright, if I rank down, I'm ending the stream there. Alright, well at least I get to go second. If they're playing uh, Six Samurai, I fucking lose. Uh, Rescue Hamster's dead here, god fucking damn it. I'm starting to see... Ooh. Okay. Yep. What the... Why, why can't you check your opponent's deck in the KC Cup, man? I want to see what my fucking opponent was cooking there. The problem with this format is that it's there, there are no good decks. There are only good skills and good generic back row. Maybe Mech Salad is like a kind of an exception to the rule. It's kind of a mixture of both. Like the skill doesn't play the deck for you. It does restrict you to how you build the- <gasps> Yes, we got a Shadow Spell player. Ah, ah, thank you, God. Now, are one of the last two cards in hand a level one tuner? Probably. The souls of my dragons guide a new one to me. Normal summon, normal summon, normal summon, normal summon, normal summon. Pass. <laughs> what do you think I do here? Do you think I rescue rabbit, summon two gold drivers, fuse them for mithrilium, shuffle, ba uh, shuffle back metal foes fusion, and uh, silvered from my graveyard to target the set card and send it back? And then try to make, uh, cause I can make the spider here. I can actually do, I can do Mithrilium into the spider. Or I can do nothing at all. I really want to make it to at least 19 today, but I'm not confident. Oh, this is noise. God damn it. I dodged them so far, but they're still here. Come on. No, they did not brick. They have to have Feast in their hand. Or Vanishment. I mean, there's no way it wasn't in the top five, six, seven, eight cards. Yeah. Please. Told you. Yep. Oh my god. How did I not think of that? Yeah, no. Ro Wait, how? Yeah, how did you not think of that? Someone doesn't know TCG. Oh, wow. I guess we're 19. Well. <laughs> uh, do I want to stop there for today and take a break? I mean, we didn't play that many games today. So we played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we went six and three today. 
Uh, that's nine games. So we're at 25, and we've lost one, two, three, four. So we're we're 20 and five, right? How many did we play? I'll have to count everything because we played 10 the first day, and we lost zero. We played eight the second day and lost one. No, okay, so we're 21 and four. There we go. We have an 84% win rate. Okay, so for what is a first on this series, I'm going to have to bring you some actual replays. Why is that? Basically, dual level 19 went really rough. Uh, so I was like, I'm probably getting distracted trying to be, you know, a jokey, entertaining person. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, play off stream to try to get myself safely back into level 19. I didn't derank, but I was on my rank down game uh, when I ended stream. So I wanted to get, uh, I wanted to get some uh, games going. So I'm going to show you some of the games I had off stream uh, and uh, let you know how that went. So this was actually my rank down game going uh, down from level 19 to 18. This is against a Maximilian Pegasus, which is probably uh, only on one thing. I'm not going to uh, turn the uh, voices off because I'm trying to simulate that I'm doing this while I'm live. So we, you know, we have the standard Metal Foes opening. We Clifford Scout here to grab a copy of Cliff Fort Monolith, and we do activate Pin Change Basic here because we really want to get a Metal Foes into our hand. We're going to Normal Summon that to draw a card draw silvered very funny that actually really unlocks our hand here we get to uh, activate metal foes fusion then we can summon alk then we get to pendulum summon so now we have our uh full fusion online for next turn with a free uh, metal foes in hand so this is pretty decent i i wish uh going in blind i'm starting to think i need to put alk into attack position because uh, piercing the darkness means it always uh, ties in combat so we get to we draw a gold driver and then add a vol flame to our hand which is just incredible or maybe it's the other way around i haven't been paying attention they're going to do the standard necroz stuff um going to add sure it going to activate brio then they're going to activate necroz cycle tributing sure it as the full cost to summon Brio, I will. Uh, they'll activate Strategist on uh, Tribute. I'm going to chain Alkahest because Brio is a ignition effect. I do not want to get my cards bounced. So we are going to uh, take that Brio. They're going to banish the spell and the monster to search another ritual spell. They're going to activate that Necro's Kaleidoscope, sending the Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. I'm going to activate Full Metal Foes Fusion to... Uh, grab that Alkahest, put it in attack position because I'm betting on my opponent not reading uh, and thinking that I misplayed. So they're going to pop my uh, Alkahest in defense position. That's what I was hoping for. They have not read Piercing the Darkness, which is good for me because they're going to Necroz Mirror, uh, tribute the strategist to uh, make Necroz of Decisive Armor. I was really worried they were going to make Trishula because I didn't play around it because I left uh, Volflame in hand. Piercing the Darkness activates. We trade. They have one card in hand. I have a 1A scale, an 8 scale, and a card that draws me another card. So I'm feeling pretty great right now. We're going to Pendulum Summon 2 here. We're going to activate Piercing the Darkness to grab Gold Driver. We're going to pop that Silvered because we have another 1 scale. We're going to activate Metal Foes Fusion to fuse into a Mithrilium. Mithrilium is going to activate just because we want to put our Alkahest and our full Metal Fusion back in the deck. We're going to put Volflame back in our hand. We're going to activate Metal Foes Fusion, hoping to draw something good here. We draw another Piercing the Darkness, very funny, which means we get to keep both of our scales. We're going to pop Piercing the Darkness, set full Metal Foes Fusion, and I know their last card in hand is Valkyris because they searched it. We're going to activate Piercing the Darkness, go to battle phase. There's no reason they shouldn't have taken this uh, because they would have been able to activate a skill and I wouldn't have killed them, and I would have, they would have had two... Uh, cards to uh, do their plays with instead of just the one they're top decking in their graveyard. Huge misplay on their part, but that's uh, why uh, why you play a certain way. You got to capitalize on opponents' misplays. If they didn't misplay, I'd still have Alkahest on their turn, plus a float effect, which is okay. So they're going to Necroz Mirror to banish the Shuret. They're going to make Trishula. Luckily, I know exactly which, by the way, I, did they have to top to deck or did they search that? I don't know what Necroz does. I have to go down. Activate, yeah. So they act draw at cost. Oh yeah, so they dr they did in fact draw the Trishula. Must be nice to be that skilled. So they're going to activate the effect of Trishula. So the thing about Trishula is, uh, when this card is uh, ritual summoned, you can banish exactly three of your opponent's cards, one each from their hand field or graveyard. Uh, this is what I was trying to do last turn. I should have used both my cards on in my hand as fusion material. 
uh, to play around it, but it didn't end up mattering. Here, at point of resolution, they will not be able to resolve Trishula's effect because I will no longer have a card in hand for them to banish. So we get to activate Mithrilium on a new chain, Chain Alkahest. I'm going to take their uh, Trishula, activate Piercing the Darkness to uh, draw into Bisma Gear. going to add a Necroz Cycle. And they can't do anything. Uh, they think they have a chance to win, but they, they don't. They, they really don't. Uh, we're going to activate Bisma Gear. Volflame's going to pop Bisma Gear to set Metal Foes Fusion. We're going to m activate Bisma Gear's effect, activate Metal Foes Fusion to summon Mithrilium. Activate Mithrilium's effect to return Mithrilium and Alkahest and Volflame. Activate. Uh, Metal Foes Fusion to draw Rescue Rabbit. Very funny. And then we're going to go to Battle Phase and kill them. Uh, thank you to my opponent for playing so poorly. You saved me single-handedly from uh, ranking down to dual level... Uh, what is it? Dual level 18. Here is the second game I got off stream here. Sorry if you can hear any squelching sounds. I'm chewing gum while I'm recording because that's a very good idea. We're going to be playing up against... Uh, a playmaker and I here. We got a uh, win streak going on here. We're going to be going first uh, against uh, what I uh, imagine is Code Talker Salaman Greats. We draw a brick, but we draw a Summoner's Art in 2 1 scale, so we'll see what we can do here. We're going to activate Summoner's Art to grab Cliffort Scout. We, of course, uh, don't need to Pendulum Summon to do anything we want to do, so I'm just going to go for card advantage here because I really want to end on double Alkahest. We're going to get another one scale, so we really did just go for card advantage and forego any Pendulum Summoning. We're going to activate uh, Metal Foes Fusion here, draw one scale, draw an eight scale, draw an eight scale. We draw an eight scale, baby. Uh, we draw that second Summoner's Art. I believe this was from a build of the deck in which I upped Summoner's Art to three, and Volflame I moved down to two. So we're going to activate Silvered to pop the Silvered on field and set a full Metal Foes Fusion. Then we're going to scale our Volflame here, and we are going to Pendulum Summon that Silvered. Very, very strong here. So we've got Alk into Alk for two monster removal effects, which should play through everything. I'm going to wait till Foxy resol resolves here to take it. They excavate Gazelle, must be nice. So at this point, I'm like, well, we can't let them send that to the graveyard. So I'm going to activate uh, Metal Foes Alkahest. Oh, must be nice to have the cross wipe. They're going to target uh, our little guy here. So we're going to make a second Alkahest. They're going to get uh, Gazelle here. And at this point, I have to think to myself, does, uh, is uh, Salad Code Talker like Phantom Knights, a deck that cannot play if you do not allow them to have a Cybers monster on the field? Because uh, all their Cybers extenders need either a Cybers on the field uh, if they had a gazelle, they they would have. If they had a um, what's his face, um, a foul, they would have activated it in response to the gazelle summon here, which they didn't do. So that telegraphs they either only their only extender has to be exactly microcoder, and I'm not gonna let them get to that point. So I decide to take the plunge and steal this gazelle. So see, they activate it. I wait till it resolves because I want to make sure that I I know if they have a foul or not. They don't. I take it. They think they're gonna get a chance here. We get. Uh, Rescue Hamster, such a great, um, just a great position. The reason I actually popped uh, the Silvered last turn instead of the Volflame is because I was specifically setting myself up for a Rescue Hamster play. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm skilled, I drew the card I needed. I simply recognized that if I didn't, if I did it the other way, Rescue Hamster would have been a dead draw. But if I did it this way, I was opening myself up for a top deck that won me the game. And uh, luckily we were rewarded for our, uh, our play there. We do draw the Hamster. We're going to banish the Hamster to add both Silverts to our hand. Then we are going to Normal Summon that. Fuse to make Mithrilium. I Normal Summon it so I can Pendulum Summon it back, basically. So that we get Gold Driver. I'm going to activate Mithrilium just to get the uh, full Metal Foes Fusion back in the deck. I'm playing around any possibility of not losing, so I want to be able to set uh, the full Metal Foes Fusion here. So we're going to Pendulum Summon 1, 2... We're going to activate the effect of Gold Driver, popping Volflame to set full Metal Foes Fusion in case uh, we don't get to kill him this turn. Our opponent sees the writing on the wall and give up. And uh, wouldn't you know, that was actually my dual level max rank up, so I accidentally uh, hit uh, dual level max off stream. I'm very sorry about that, uh, and I have robbed you of the ability to see me uh, get into Casey Cup. I also haven't played the uh, second stage at all because I have other things to do. But uh, there it is. The, 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 the dual level max was... Uh, was achieved off stream. I, I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> so to answer the question from the title of the video, can a VTuber win with Metal Foes? 
Yes, they can. In fact, a VTuber can win with Metal Throws so hard they do it by accident when they aren't even streaming it. Oops. Despite the deck's basically stellar performance and highly positive win rate, even with that awful level 19 loss streak that I cut, I really feel that most of our hot streak comes down to dodging most of the tiered archetypes. Barring Dark Magician, which was by far our toughest matchup anyway, I don't think we faced a single Mech Knight player, and every time we dueled PK or Infornoids, we went first. In either case, I do believe Metal Foes on its own merits felt better this time than any other time I've piloted it. The Cleefort engine performed admirably, both as a resource engine with our skill and as fusion material for Mithrilium and Alkahest. Piercing the darkness felt great in the deck as well. The only thing holding back Metal Foes from high tier contention in my analysis would be the lack of ability to play generic back row, such as Warning Point and Book of Moon, or limited pieces of the Trinity like Ice Dragon's Prison, Crackdown, and Compulsory Evacuation Device. Additionally, the deck lacks a skill that wins the game on its own, like Hero Alliance. At the very least, Metal Foes remains as fun to pilot as ever, tests the skill and forethought of its pilot, and is actually a deck that lets you play card games in Duel Links, which sadly is becoming a rare and rare occurrence.